So we're thinking of building a strut brace. I've, well, the first thing is that obviously um, some of these cars, especially when they're getting on a bit, they get a bit of flexing in the body um, and just sifting it back up again. People fit braces, strut braces. Uh, this has got McPherson struts on it. So um, I've been looking around for what there is on the scene and I'm not impressed by what I've seen. So I'm thinking about um, making my own. Uh, I'm starting off with uh, looking at the clearance and how we're going to mount it on top of the strut tops. Uh, first off, I uh, tried it out with something along the lines of this. So I want something that looks retro with the um, with the year of the car. So we don't want any modern stuff on there. We want it to look like it, it should look. And I, we're just using this as a sort of lining up and see where it. And I think a piece of steel like this would probably do it. Box steel. So this is um, 50 mil by 25 mil thickness. So we're going to look towards doing something along that lines. I might have to arch it to get it over this, but we'll look at that later. Um, the first things first, we needed to know what clearance we'd got. So a handy tip here with clearance, uh, if you get a piece of just ordinary kitchen foil, um, crumple it up, put it on top of what you want to get to know the clearance of the bonnet with, close it down, Pull it down and then open it up and you'll have the clearance height that you need and do the same again with the strut tops here and here uh, because you've got bracing on some bonnets or you might have quite good clearance but you need to know where you're going to go with the height of, the, uh, of the, the clearance. Once you know the height of the clearance you can start messing around with, um, with what you want to do with it. Get some pieces of card. Um, and start messing around and this is what I've done so far so this is a mock-up of what we want to do if I put this on here and show you so we've made a mock-up out of cardboard and that's going on there and that fits nicely um, you need some a fair gauge of steel um, I've got Sort of this kind of gauge, it's oh, five mil or something, it's quite thick. So then you transfer this over to this, as you can see, um, and then you can obviously these as well, uh, cut them out accordingly and shape them and put them on. Um, I'll just show you how I got so the clearance was done with the foil. Uh, here's a quick showing you what it was like. So what I did, I set the camera up underneath, set it running, closed the bonnet, and that gave me the heights. So if you just watch that now, I'll just show you how I did it. Right, so there's, uh, the steel's being delivered, so we've got a steel here now, um, just measuring it up. Obviously these plates are going to be on, on these plates here, we've made the base plates, we've made the attachment plates, so that's what they are. Now I've just found the centre of the steel. I'm thinking about where to bend it to go over this fuel rail and this hump here. Now I've uh, found the centre line and then I've marked at each edge where I want to bend it because it's going to go inside, I don't know if you can see it, there's a lip there so it's going to go inside there with a slight bend here and here I'm going to show you how we're going to bend it 
Um, I haven't got a um, press or anything like that, so I'm going to use the weight of my vehicle. Uh, another interesting thing as well, I don't know if you can see, there's a drain on this side, so we want that underneath. This is the top side, so we must make sure that this stays on top and this goes underneath. Right, let's go and bend it. there So now we've got this benzene, as you can see, uh, this should help us uh, to get above here and then be within there. So next thing we need to do is uh, marry it up to the, get the right length, marry it up and uh, put it all in, but uh, looking pretty good. Right, so um, the plate's made now. Um, I haven't got a hole cutter for this, so I ended up um, just drilling small holes all the way around and then meeting them up and um, making a plate 
grinding it so it's round. Uh, the outside was pretty easy. Uh, did that with the uh, angle grinder. Uh, pretty easy to get that right. Uh, then obviously we've got the bar to put on. So this is where this is going to go. So we had them tabs. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a round end tip bar and we're going to cut leaving this top piece and then wrap the top piece round so it welds underneath here so you don't see where the weld is and it makes a nice flush edge uh, here's where I've done it <clears throat> so we've got the plates on now but the weld is under here and the, the end of it's uh, being rounded so it looks quite neat once tidying up and then we fitted the plates on and put a slight curve in the plates angle in the plates so it gives them a bit of rigidity uh, when they're on there but all I need to do now is, is weld those in place and uh, do the other side so that's the mountains at this side tacked in place uh, best thing now to do is uh, check clearance make sure it's all right before we fully weld it up weld it up and spray it and you've got yourself a homemade strut brace you've enjoyed the video um, and uh, hopefully you'll catch up with more stuff that I'm doing on Datsun. See you soon, bye. Right well I was going to show you this done but um, run out of welding wire so uh, take it from me it's going to get painted and look spot on. Um, I'll keep you updated. Cheers.